The seed is humanity. Pay attention. The net is the gospel and the plan of God. The fact that the net is being dragged to shore is the time we have of grace. That God has given people to repent as he's moving the entire world towards the end of all things. Remember, I told you I have a biblical worldview. Creation, the fall, redemption, consummation, the end of all things, new creation. You've got to see the world through that lens. And that right now, you and I are living in the era of redemption, that period of time between the advent of the coming of Christ and the second coming of Christ when the church was born and the gospel is spreading and God has harvested all these things into the net. And in that net, watch, nobody escapes that net. No human being escapes that net. Every human being that has ever lived is trapped in that net. And as the net is being dragged to shore, as time is running out, eventually the net will reach the shore. The Lord will return. And then the angels will separate from the world the sons of the devil, the agnostic, the atheist, the false believer, the unrighteous, those who rejected God. And he said they're going to be cast into a fiery furnace. And they will be weeping and gnashing their teeth. And my friends, men, look at where Jesus keeps bringing you back to over and over and over again. Man, I've heard people say, man, they don't believe in damnation. They don't believe in hell. They don't believe in eternal separation from God. They think everybody's going to heaven. The false doctrine of inclusion. No, friends. Jesus tells us in that place, he gives location for a place of torment. We know that because he says there will be weeping that is sorrow. There will be gnashing of teeth that is pain. That all of the scriptures, Christ keeps explaining to us a place where the unrighteous are going to end up. Where they're going to have a body fit for destruction. Where there will be degrees of punishment, like it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah than for this person in the judgment. And then the worst thing about this place is not just outer darkness or fire or torment, it's that God's presence is not there. He's talking to you about the kingdom. He's talking to you about being salt and light. He's talking to you about being fruitful. He's talking about serving for him. And the problem is all of us, we try to build utopia now. And we don't see that this life is not about building utopia. This is not your best life now. Your best life, worldview, biblical worldview, your best life is the one he's going to recreate for us in the eternal state. So today's sermon was about how the kingdom of God is worth more than anything and everything on earth and how we as people idolize uh, things other than the kingdom of God. But the part that I thought was like super powerful was it's not that God is against these things like wealth or fame or family. Um, it's just that it shouldn't be idolized above the kingdom. So I think a lot of people need to hear that just censoring God in the middle of a family um, in the middle of your goals, in the middle of your life in general, that it'll flourish regardless. So, don't think that these things aren't valuable, that you shouldn't want these things for yourself. Just make sure that you're always centering God. I'm just so grateful that I made it this far. Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car. Benny's everything for me and everything I need. I would be nothing if you didn't give me no reason to be
That was him with the. <laughs> Got my workout partner in the streets. This the warm up. What's the next? This is the warm up. Yeah, we got hit them push ups. I'm your personal trainer. Or you, you my trainer. Travel bag, workout partner. <laughs> you don't got no choice. Uh -huh. Yeah, what was he saying? I don't even know how hard he's talking about. What's your book? He's like, it stars. That's the same thing the nigga All right. He said, what it's about? Yeah, I was saying I heard him say that. Oh. I just started this book. I don't know. He was like, you know what it's about. Uh. Oh, he wanted you to tell him. Yeah, he was like, it start with us. He said, who, you and me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you trying to slow me down all the way, man. Oh, you always want to win everything. No, I just wanted to be fair. I'm jogging. I ain't ready really to sprint this whole thing. You ready? Yeah. Huh? Oh, let me drink. Let me take a sip. A cigarette. That was fast. That nigga stop. <laughs> Damn, we should have timed it like the last time. That was real fast. I didn't even finish posting my Instagram story. <laughs> you can't stop, nigga. You stop the talk. You got cramps. Hell yeah. 34 seconds I did that last week with them on me. Non-stop. My first time running in here. We don't, we don't get you right. <laughs> My shit burned. You know what? It was them jump ropes. <laughs> yeah, do that shit on top of that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hola mamita. Say hola mamita. Can you say hola? Ooh. Yes, thank you. Record you eating? What type of shit is that? It's supposed to be behind the scenes, you know. You do this everywhere you go? Huh? You do this everywhere you go? No. Just when I'm on the table. And I'm sure the table. Show them your beer. Oh. And you drink your 
work, so. I didn't work so much. 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 I didn't your margarita been to uh, tell your ass or... oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you had a damn $60 worth of margarita in that one cup. <laughs> so this is my spot right here, y'all. What spot? I basically lived right here. Taco Mac? No, just right here at the Western. Oh. I stayed up there. Like, this, down there, yeah. <laughs> Taco Mac. Oh, yeah, the Taco Mac. Oh, you tell this motherfucker. <laughs> Taco Mac and then Hooters down the street. I need to be... I had to pee for a minute. Damn, I tried to pee at the park. Girl, you better not listen. It was so dirty, listen. Brock. How yeah. my back, how that it was bathroom a whole pad, look? A whole I know full your bathroom blood blood look ten day. times worse. Just laid in the floor. Oh, it was puddles of piss in mine with a, a <laughs> sleeping bag and a nigga uh oh. a, a flannel shirt laying in the pee float. <laughs> <laughs> a flannel floating in piss. Yes. Oh. No. And I had like. Like I had to go from a distance. That pad had dark blood in it. It was soaked in blood. Yeah, just yeah. in the middle of the floor. Yeah, that was a wash for blood. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good day though. Cute, that's what we gotta do every single week. Work out. Yeah, that's cool. Every week we gotta push it harder. So we started we with two laps to. today. You we started with two, nigga. We did two look, look, laps look. today, nigga. That means next week we can't do no less than two and a half. I know how to push push. I don't know if you want to push push like that. Nigga. Because I'm on some do these, then run, then do these, then run, then do these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like do these. I love them. You watch that? Mm -hmm. Did you watch the last one I sent you? Oh, I don't think I watched the last one. Yeah. Oh, hold up. I did. I That's did. I watched like both of them. Shit, man. Nigga, watch shut You didn't watch shit I sent you. <laughs> yeah, and you be playing like a war like that. Like, he ain't gonna watch my shit. I ain't gonna watch <laughs> No, I watched both them videos. Yes, you do, Chase. You like competitive, man. You know you like strong like that. <laughs> Nigga, you know I watched like both that. videos you sent me. Like how we was at the end of the day. You just had to push it. That's <laughs> how I run. Push. That's how I run. That's what your workout partner pulls the did. When I put, I'm be geeky, I be going crazy, you don't go crazy like me. Nigga, are you dumb? The past few days, you been pushing. No, nigga. Because we'll look up, you done did a hundred, over a hundred push up. And for two, these prior two other months, you went like that. Nigga, two Number months two. ago, two months ago, you wasn't even working out. So what you talking about? We just started working out anyway. I'm on month three. Y'all gotta get my stomach stomach basically it ain't just nothing but me drinking it like drinking sodas i'm done with soda. so i gotta stop this uh, is margarita worse than soda like my abs and shit like that. <laughs> yes. we just like, had margaritas q 